let's talk about the root system of low quads you see the roots on this guy they're not really that big i mean that's as big as it gets they get a little thicker when they get older especially the anchoring roots in the middle going down but normally most of your roots are going to be very small fibers very tiny when i say fibers it's going to be like very tiny like like fibers coming out of their the roots just like this um, so that's what I mean by, you know, a fibrous shallow root system. And this is why this tree right here actually will require frequent watering and uh, you're able to place them, you know, closer to structures because the root system is not that invasive. Um, but yeah, this is what I mean by a fibrous root system. Any plant that has roots like this, guys, you always have to keep them a little wetter than normal because they have a hard time drinking the water from the soil. Um, so even though the soil may seem moist to the touch, especially when extremely hot here in Arizona, it may not be wet enough for those roots to actually drink up the water. So loquats, when watering loquats, you want to actually keep them a little wetter than other plants because if you don't, then it's going to be extremely hard to actually, um, actually extremely easy to actually kill them. So you want to keep them on the wetter side, especially the first summer until they actually grow roots into the soil. Because if you don't, if you forget one afternoon, especially the first summer, they can die very easily. Um, and that's the reason why right there. So when watering your loquat in the summer, make sure you water very frequently because if you don't, they can die within a few hours. This plant right here has been wilting on me twice a day. So what that means is I have been watering it twice a day i could imagine in the summer maybe it's probably gonna water uh, dry on me even faster than that and i'm gonna have to water it even more times than that so the way i'm gonna water in the ground guys is you need to understand the root system of your plant loquats have a shallow fibrous root system any plant that has those types of roots they usually have a harder time drinking the water from the soil if you get rain in your area you probably won't notice it if you have humidity in the air you probably won't notice it if you have clouds in the sky that give your plant breaks throughout the day you are probably not going to notice it but here in arizona no clouds in the summer 100 degrees plus every single day and no uh, humidity in the air you will notice it immediately so my, my recommendation is if you actually have your uh, tree in the ground and then uh, you live in arizona you need to keep this on the water side remember if you check for drainage you will never be able to overwater your low quad i have grown i would say easily i'm not bragging guys this is just experience easily over the years i would say at least a thousand low quads and i probably have killed about three to four hundred low quads just the first few years when I first started just trying to learn about them because I did not know what I was doing. Over time, I learned how plants actually drink water and then the root system of plants. And now I understand it better. So nowadays they hardly die on me. So remember, you're gonna keep it on the water side. How often you're going to water, that depends on your temperatures. The hotter the temperatures are, the more your plant will sweat, the more water it will drink, and then the faster the soil will dry. So the easiest way to check is just check the root ball. And then I would say for the first few days after you plant your tree in the ground, you're gonna come up here and then you're gonna stick your finger in there. And if it feels like, this is moist guys, but you can tell when I make a fist, it doesn't actually clump up. So what that means, it doesn't have as much water in there as uh, the loquat needs. This is not enough to water your plant. For other plants that have thicker roots, that is fine. They can drink the water from the soil. But this loquat right here, it's not. How do I know that? Because I kill hundreds of them. Um, but anyways, yeah, you wanna keep it on, on the water side. So when you make a fist and then it clumps up, that is exactly how you want your loquat to be every single day during the summer, guys. If this goes dry and the temperatures are over 100 degrees, all it takes a few hours for your loquat to die. If your loquat, uh, loquat wilts and then you waited too long in between watering, I would say about 80 to 90% of the time you just lost your loquat. That's how sensitive they are. If your loquat goes dry and then any amount of sunlight hits it in the summer, guess what? You just kill your loquat. So for the first summer, I recommend to Go out there every single day and check the root ball and make sure it's wet. I know a lot of people like to flood everything around it. I don't do that anymore because of experience. I've killed a lot of plants because 
the soil around it guys it's gonna remain wet but your loqua has no roots in the soil so it won't be able to drink that water until next year it's gonna take at least one year for this tree to grow roots into the soil so it can benefit from the water in the soil so what happens is people flood it and then they leave it there and then they look at everything it looks soaking wet so they don't water the plant but this root ball right here will dry out faster than the sur surrounding soil because it has no roots in there. So for the first summer at least, you need to concentrate on that root ball and water very frequently. As long as you check for drainage, you will never be able to overwater your loquat. I promise you 100%. I have never been able to overwater a loquat. Now I have killed a lot of them because, you know, I assume it was moist and it was not wet enough and then it died in the summer here. But remember, this only applies in Arizona. If you live anywhere else in the U.S., like South Florida, California, um, you have a lot of humidity in the air, you, have, you get rain, you know, every once in a while, you get clouds in the sky. So those factors are going to make it easier for you to grow your loquat in your area. But if you're in Arizona, follow my recommendation. Keep this wet, guys. I promise you, during the summer, you will never be able to overwater. In the winter time, you want to let it dry out a little bit, but in the summer, keep it wet. So check it every day. If you don't, all it takes one afternoon to kill your low quad. All right, guys, so now I'm watering. I almost forgot about it. Um, but like I said, I was watering twice a day right now because he was wilting on me. Um, so I know that uh, it was drying out that quickly even though the dirt wasn't fully dry it was still a little moist it's still not enough for the loquat tree um, so what I do is uh, you know just water the root ball like you uh, you know like you would in the container and then for the remainder of the summer I'm gonna concentrate on the root ball which is right here and then every single day I'm gonna come out here I'm gonna check and then make sure that I give it a little bit of water. You don't have to water for hours. You don't have to flood everything because remember that's not beneficial to your tree right now. It will be in a few years once your loco is fully rooted in the ground. But right now you're concentrating on the root ball, guys. And then I would say give it a few days and then you know after you water and see if any of the soil settle down and then you can you know backfill it a little bit. Um, but that's about it. And so let me water right now. And uh, and yeah, that's it, guys. So this is all the tree needs right now. And then every single day, I'm gonna come out and check just to make sure that it doesn't go dry on me.